JPALS is a precision approach and landing system based on GPS technology instead of the historically radar and beacon based landing systems which the Navy and Marine Corps are currently using. It's intended to bring a uh, capability and a flexibility that those legacy landing systems don't offer and also an interoperability that could be used across eventually ship, shore, manned unmanned, fixed and rotary wing aircraft. JPALS uh, in the future is primarily uh, going to be in the F-35 uh, B and C models for the Navy and Marine Corps and also the U-class unmanned air systems. It utilizes the existing GPS constellation. Uh, it brings those signals in, does mathematical computations between two assets, an aircraft and then a ship, and it calculates a touchdown point onto an aircraft carrier deck. There was a lot of preparation to get ready for what was our very successful period on the boat. Uh, a lot of that started uh, back in the September, October time frame here at Pax River. We did conduct a large number of F-18 flights here shore-based and uh, built our way down from elevated touchdowns to uh, ultimately touchdowns to the uh, deck here. And uh, all of that was in preparation to say that we were ready to go do work on the boats. Patuxa River with its lab facilities allows us to demonstrate that JPALS can be integrated onto the ship in a very controlled fashion. And we can demonstrate that without the risk, uncertainty, and cost of actually being on the ship at the time. So the SC testing was conducted on board Theodore Roosevelt, CBN-71. We had uh, two F-18 jets out there uh, instrumented for JPALS with the uh, JPALS airborne system installed as well as the shipboard system installed on the ship. We had over 50 uh, uh, precision approaches and landings. The performance that we saw, it was uh, landing precisely where we were asking it to land, where it had been programmed to land. Uh, in the pilot reports that came back, it was very uh, gentle. It was a gentle landing. Uh, it, it acted just like, if you will, just like the um, legacy systems. Overall, it was a very good success. We've proven out that the ship system can provide the ability to land an air vehicle hands off. We're going to make, be making some improvements over the next year or two to the JPALS ship system and to the software that's going to be running in the air system so that it will have that degree of safety without a pilot in the loop. Uh, we, we had something that was good for us in this and that uh, we, we kept it simple, we really didn't, we, we tried to use things we had done in the past to decide that we could uh, work toward it at the ship and uh, I, think, uh, I think that helped us. It was a very uh, pleasant experience to, to see uh, not only the system work the way it did, but the whole team, the JPALS, the program office, the test team, engineering, everybody working together along with the contractor, I think it was a very good evolution at sea.